my name is Giselle. I am interested in drawing, animating, and video games. One future goal I have is to get paid on YouTube as a college student and get a job as a doctor. I'm really passionate about animating. I've been animating for a long time and I love making my drawings come to life as if they're actually alive. A habit I made the most growth on and used the most is the work habit. I am self-directed in my work and I strive for accuracy. I am persistent in my work and I set goals. Back in fourth grade, we had a project about plants and nobody would work or pay attention. This project was named Plants with a Purpose. Since this was one of those big projects, our group was forced to finish and the work was all put on me. Some examples of the work we had to fill out was Google Slides, write down and brainstorm our ideas, and write down information on specific types of facts. My group had trouble paying attention and only paid attention to each other and themselves, which was bad because they wouldn't pay attention to the work. Since my group only paid attention to their computers, I told them to stop goofing off and do the work, and we started setting goals. An example of one of our goals was to complete two slides each and research two facts about the same plant. We finished and we got a decent grade. From this experience, I strive for accuracy by making sure my group and I completed our work in time with everything in order. We made mistakes and added our facts and the final result turned out good. I was persistent because I didn't give up on my group and I was self-directed because I knew exactly what to do. In middle school, the work habit will help me strive for accuracy in math so I can be more ahead in it. Self-directed, meaning I can do things in my own pace. Persistent, so when I go to PE, I can use this habit while doing tracks, and I can set goals for upcoming projects at Bulldog Tech. This habit will help me be self-directed in my work, and it'll help me finish it in time. It will be useful for school and college, and maybe for even taxes in the future. It'll help me turn in my work for my job, and help me get chores done. How? Well, being self-directed will help me feel comfortable, and less stress will be put on me. Without stress, work will be easier to manage, and I'll get work done easily. I would like to work on the habit collaborate. I like to work in groups, but I don't like working with new people. I struggle to talk and understand other people I don't usually work with, and I feel like what I do to help my group is not going to satisfy them. When I'm in a group with different people who don't know what to do, I'm a really bad coach. I'm not the best at leading or supporting either. I only really check on my group's work, but that's it. I don't really talk to them or follow them. I can only really focus on and see when they're goofing off, but I still don't talk. I think this habit will be useful in the future because working with different people is a part of life and I should accept that. For many jobs, working in groups with new people are things being done every day. So working on this habit element is something that needs to be done. And if I want to be a doctor, I probably would have to work and study in groups. I will try improving on this habit in middle school because I visited a Bulldog website and they said that working in groups is going to be something that they have to offer. Thank you so much for watching this. It took me a really long time to try and edit this all together and put the animation with my voice inside and like, you know, all that stuff. That's why I put a lot of images just themselves without animating it. I'm really sorry about that. But I really hope you enjoyed my exit interview. Um, thank you for watching. Bye!